The teapot body is, is trimmed and ready to start building. I threw this lid off the hump, and I like it because, well, when it fits, it's a good thing, uh, but I could, it's done. Basically, all I have to do is sponge it off, make it tidy. It comes off the wheel fairly, ah, oh, that was rude. It comes off the wheel fairly tidy. Don't smash it on the wheel head. And all you have to do is sponge it off and then poke a hole. You have to poke a hole in your lid, otherwise your tea, when it pours, will glug out of there like an old bleach bottle. Because as the tea goes out, it causes a vacuum. And the, anyway, it just gets messy. But you can see that lid now is finished. That's why I prefer that lid, because it don't take a lot of time. But I also threw the lid that fits this way. I like to hang on to the lids like that, because you can get a hold of it. It too fits, but it needs a knob. So we're going to put this on the wheel the same way we did the casserole dish, but just smaller. I'm going to center it, and I'm going to cheat a little bit. Oh, there it is. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to make, I don't know if it's cheating or not, my wheel, my board, my tool. Put some lines on there, and it's going to take some of the challenge out of centering. Again, I'm connected. And push that scratch. And I'm going to trim that. It's almost trimmed from when you took it off the wheel. And I'm going to put the little knob of clay on there. This is just like the casserole knob, but a much smaller serving. I like to throw with quite soft clay. I'll use the whole thing. No, I won't. If you listen, your clay will tell you what it likes. My clay lied to me, said it wanted a big knob, and I got it on there, and it said, no, you don't. And put it on there. Notice I scored that. I added water. I scored that and wiggled it together. I always score and add water when I'm joining two pieces of clay that don't have the same moisture. This clay for the knob is quite a bit wetter than the bottom. We're going to center that. We're going to center it the same throwing techniques, except for this top part that's messy. It's hard to incorporate that in there, so just get rid of it. And instead of using my big hands to push, I'm just using my thumb and my finger. Tidy it up. When you throw this knob, don't be afraid to, get, again, give your knob some, some substance. People like to throw lovely, dainty little teapot knobs, and as soon as they're banged, they chip right off. Open it up like a little bowl, stick your fingers on the side, and give it some substance. And this isn't too bad, but sometimes when you're throwing your knob, it'll get really crooked. And it's your knob, you can take your needle. I wouldn't do this for this one, I would accept that much. But you can see if it's really off center, you can just drop your needle down there. And if it won't go center, you can cut that thing center. So you can make it as tidy as you like. Get rid of that messy mark. A little more definition, a little more thickness there. And I'm not going to do the plastic on this one. It's hard to get the plastic around, though. Maybe I'll try. You can also do the plastic when it's, uh, when it's off the wheel. Let's see, will it work? Sometimes it's just hard to get all those hands and all that. There it goes. No problem. I am going to do the plastic because it's no problem. Anyway, so there's the lid. Um, Quite often, it's, it's fairly soft when I started to trim it. It's taken on a lot of water. I'm just going to take the whole board off the same way as I would do the casserole dish, casserole dish and just let it firm up a bit and worry about it later. So there's lids, and we're going to move on to building spouts and handles.